Good afternoon and welcome to our devotions for this afternoon. Um, I'm going to start by giving you a couple announcements and welcoming our visitor here, Ellis. Say hi, Ellis. Hi, 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 hi. hi, hi. hi, hi. <laughs> we are on Christmas break, so kids are hanging out with me. Our announcements are pretty much just Christmas Eve worship service. It is virtual at 3.30 on Thursday. If you would like to watch it when it live streams at 3.30, or you can watch it anytime after that too. So we would love that you join us for Christmas Eve worship service. We are also having a um, candlelight parking lot service at 11 p.m. Um, bring your own candle, whether that's a real candle or one that you can turn on. And Pastor John and his daughter Hannah will be leading you in music and prayer and candlelight. So that's at 11 o'clock on Christmas Eve. Are you done now? You go play. All right, we could start with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this time to wait and prepare, to think about peace, love, joy, and hope in this time of foretelling of Jesus' birth, and celebrating what is to come. We give thanks for those that are in the healthcare field, our teachers, um, hopefully our teachers are getting a restful break, and our students. Please be with those that are struggling with COVID, that are recovering from COVID, and those that have lost loved ones to the pandemic. In your name we pray. Amen. So I would like to read to you the second part of um, the birth of Jesus foretold, and then Mary visits Elizabeth, and then Mary sings a song of praise. It's often called the Minifica. It is called the Minifica. Um, music has been um, developed, composed from this. So I'm going to read to you Luke chapter 1, verse 46 through 55. Mary's Song of Praise. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the loneliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and set the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary sings this song of praise after she has been visited by the angel Gabriel, and Gabriel has told her that she will bear the Messiah, that she will conceive a king, a great one. And as you can imagine, Mary ponders those words, and you wonder if Mary's thinking, me? I am low status. I am not a royalty of royalty or even royal lineage. I am a lowly servant. She goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who has also been promised a child in her old age. And Elizabeth and Mary together celebrate the birth of their sons, or what is to become the birth of their sons. And then Mary sings this song of pra praise in spite of all of the unknown. She sings a song of praise. She hears that she is in favor with God, that she is the favored one, that she will carry the Messiah. And instead of being scared, running the other way, she sings. She sings a song of praise. And it's not a praise for those who are rich, for those who have everything already. It is a praise for those who are poor, who are lowly, who are blessed by the Holy Spirit. And so I wonder if we sometimes think when we don't have it all put together at Christmas time that our 
gifts aren't just perfect under the tree or maybe we don't even have our decorations up or whatever that is, we may be thinking that are we really celebrating Christmas? Are we really feeling this song of praise? Is God with us? And yes, God is with us in our moments of joy, in our moments of uncertainty, in our moments of not having a Christmas tree up or like our house, I have to tell myself, it's okay not to have a clean house on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because God will still come. God is with us. I wanted to share with you at the end of this devotion a video liturgy by the work of the people. You've seen some of these things during worship. And this is the Minifica, a poem. And so it's kind of a retelling of the Minifica uh, song with some visuals along with it. Thank you. My soul sings out to the Lord. My heart exclaims the work of God, my deliverer. For God has seen the status of God's lowly servant and rightly from this time forward, all the generations will see that I was blessed. For the Great One has done magnificent things through me. And I call upon the mystery of God's name. God's mercy is for those who honor God from generation to generation. God has shown the hand of justice by scattering the proud, humbling their haughty thoughts. God has brought down the powerful from their high places and lifted up all the lowly. God has filled the hungry with God's plenty and sent away the wealthy with empty hands. God has helped God's servant, Israel, to remember God's rich mercy in accordance to the covenant made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his children. Before we end our devotion for this afternoon, Ellis would like to share with you the newest member of the Colas family. Come and bring her up. Who, who, is, who is the newest member of the Colas family? Luna. Luna. Luna is the newest member of our family. We are now a three dog family, three kids. Um, yep, and as you can tell, it's going very well. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Thanks.